Hello to everyone, PhD Tech Tips here. Today I'm going to show you what I think is the most useful tip for PhD students that are writing their thesis in LaTeX. Now, as you all may know, typically when we reach the end of our PhD program, we're not quite done writing our manuscripts. And today I'm going to show you how you can avoid having to change your manuscript and then add those changes to your thesis. So what you're going to do here is you're going to sync text between LaTeX documents. Now to do this, I'm going to be using Overleaf, which is an online LaTeX editor. And I highly advise that you use one and check to see if your university has a license that allows students to use it. Usually if you're at an R1 university, you will have Overleaf subscription or license. So I'm going to show you how just how powerful this is, right, in a very simple example. So to do this, all you want to do is go to your document where you want to take text from. So in this case, I'm going to be using example one, as you can see here. Now, all you need to do is add the use package command, and you want to use the package called catch file between tags. That's it, catch file between tags. And if you need to access this, I will send you a link to the CTAN. So now that you have this line written in, what you want to do is find the text that you want to put into your thesis document. So let's say we'll use this paragraph right here. And it can be paragraphs. It can be any type of command that you want, as long as the command can also be used in the other document. So for this uh, case, I'm just going to be using a paragraph, right, just to show you a, a simple example. So what you want to do is place a tag. The, the neat thing about this, you can name the tag whatever you want to name it, right, to, in order to differentiate between tags. You can use multiple tags in the other document. So you can name this tag tag. You can name this command tag, just as long as the ending uh, label for the tag is exactly the same as the beginning, right? And obviously you want the tags to have distinct names. So what you want to do is at the start of the text you want to copy, place the following command, which is percent symbol, less than sign, asterisk, tag, greater than sign to start. Then find where your text ends that you want to place in the other document and then put percent symbol, less than sign, forward slash, tag, or whatever the name of the tag is, greater than sign. Awesome, right? And you can see the differences between these two is that one has the asterisk, the other has the forward slash. Great, so you've done this. Now what you wanna do is save, obviously. Make sure that things are safe. Now, what I wanna do, and obviously if you didn't know, Overleaf automatically saves documents. It's just the compiling that I just completed. So now what you want to do is go to your other example. So I have an example two here saved in another tab. Now, what you want to do first before you sync any text, you want to add the tech file from the other document into this project. What do I mean by that? Well, maybe it's better to show you. What you want to do is upload and then from another project, select the project. And so the project that we're going to be choosing is example two. Right, and then the file we're, we'll be selecting is main.tech, and then you will be selecting the file uh, main.tech, and we'll display the name here, but you want to change that name to something else, and so you already have main tech in this document. So I changed it to main1.tech, and I'm not going to upload it since I've already done it, but you want to go through this and then press create. So you can see I already have the main1.tech file here, and uh, main tech is the document that I'm working from. Right, and of course, you can change the settings to decide which file is the main one. But what's important here is that the main one tech file looks sort of like this when you press on it. And so that means that whenever you make changes to your original document, in order to sync those changes, all you would need to do is press refresh. Okay, so back to the document. I'm going to show you exactly how you can sync the text. So what you want to do is have your use package catch file between tags located, obviously. Now, Let's say I want to place the text at the beginning of the document. Well, you want to place the following command here, which is 
backward slash execute metadata, right? So when you type this out, it should show execute, right? Metadata, it'll autofill. And then in the bracket, you want to put the document that you're taking the text from. And then in the curly brackets, you want to place the text, uh, you want to place the name of the document, so the name of the tag, right? So it's just tag in our case. Okay, now that we've done that, all you need to do is compile the document. Boom. So now you can see that the same text that we have from the original file, which starts with simply and ends with toolbar, and I'll show you that here, which is in between tags here, has now been synced to this document. Now, what if I want to move this, right? So we can we can move this document, place it somewhere else here, right? So we can place it in this subsection, how to create sections and subsections. And then recompile. Yeah, and you, as you can see right here, the document is now changed. We now have the paragraph starting with simply, ending with toolbar, underneath section 2.1. So let me illustrate exactly what I mean by syncing the changes. So let's say you, you, you were changing your document. So let's say PhD Tech Tips is an awesome YouTube channel. Okay, so we have this sentence here. Now it's changed obviously, right? So just save, which I think is a good habit you should build up whenever you're working in LaTeX. And now what I'm going to do is go back to the document, which I would call my thesis document, so to say. Press on the main one tech file, and you're gonna wanna have to, do, and you're gonna wanna do this. I haven't found a way to successfully do this, but if you have found a way to just sync, auto sync documents that are being imported from another project, Feel free to let me know in the comments. All you need to do here, refresh. And now you should see that the changes have been implemented uh, at the end of this uh, sentence here. Right? PhD Tech Tips is an awesome YouTube channel. Great. Now back to our main tech. In order to implement the changes, right? So as you recall, this is our, this is our inputted paragraph here. All you need to do is recompile. And then there you go. PhD Tech Tips is an awesome YouTube channel. Again, I will emphasize you can do this sync for many commands across different tech files in your in your projects and overleaf. Not only that, but you can also do this in for figures. So if you had a figure command, you can then use that same figure command in this new tech file. However, the figure now has to be referenced somewhere in your somewhere in your tech file here, right? And main tech main one dot tech can even be in a folder, so I'll illustrate that too. Uh, if, if you add a new folder, if you add a new folder, just call it folder, and then add main one dot tech here. You can change the naming here to folder slash main one dot tech. Save. As you can see, you were still able to reference, right? So if you had multiple folders, you can just uh, point the compiler to the directory. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about. I think this is a really helpful tip for those that are working on their thesis, and I found this to be extremely helpful when I was working on mine. For now, this is BT Tech Tips, and I will see you again in another video.